You are seeing this, right? Oh, I'm seeing it, all right. So it isn't just like basil or tarragon? Tarragon? Yeah, you know, like the kitchen garden thing. It's a cannabis farm thin. Yeah, I thought so. A cannabis farm we're paying for. Do you remember that bit in the film, The Beach, where they stumble across the same thing and then all of these armed guards turn up with machine guns? Yeah, I think this is our cue to do one. No, hold on, I'm not just walking away. No, I'm not walking, I'm running straight to the police. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not, because if you do that, then we'll get done as well. well how did you work that one out? Because, you idiot. It's Mum's name on the tenancy agreement. You think they're going to believe that this wasn't us? So what do we do? Well, it's our farm. I guess that means... It's our property. <laughs> Maybe you could come here and pack it himself. What are you doing? I just needed to check an order. Using the banking passwords? And with the blinds closed, you're up to something. Look, it's not what you think. So this is what it's come to? Stealing from your family. I wasn't stealing. All right, I admit, I was going to borrow some. But I didn't. This is because of him. Rakesh put you up to it, didn't he? Actually, he doesn't know anything about this. But it is for him. I should have dropped that car off with the client ages ago. So I am telling you, you get it back here now, or I'm going to ring the police and report it as stolen. They can lock you up for all I care. I won't put it past her. What? Faith. So we've done a runner. She's obviously picked up some drunken old beggar and driven off into the sunset, hasn't she? With every penny I owe. Well, this could ruin me, Debs. She's here. <laughs> what do you think? I think I might be finding a new use for this unless you tell us where you've been. Been having the car professionally validated. Oh, I'm sorry, is that not your job? Well, to make sure the seats were properly shampooed. More like you've been using this as your mobile knocking shop. My what? Oh, come on, don't come innocent with me. You're on the pull, aren't you? I've been doing no such thing. Can you two just shut up for five seconds? I appreciate everything you've done, but this is not going to work. What isn't? You being a part of this. First of all, you dump Sarah outside some cinema while you swan off, and then you go and lose a grand in business. Ah, but I didn't. Loses a grand in business. I made us three. Last time I checked, I was still a partner in this firm. What has that changed? Well, and that makes it all right to steal from your family. What choice did I have? If he gets sent down, he could be looking at 14 years. Not that you give a well, damn. And you don't think we've bent over backwards enough for him already? No! I think you're hanging him out to dry. Dad always talks about how we should stick together. Well, don't even pull that one again. I spoke to Dad this morning and he's as sick of Rakesh as I am. He wants nothing more to do with him. And neither should you if you weren't such a doormat. So that's what you would do, is it? If Jimmy was locked up. I think Jimmy would sink as low as him. Right. So that time that he kidnapped Rakesh and threatened to torture him? With a can of water. He pushed him out of a window. That was an accident. Jimmy might be an idiot, but he's not that bad. Neither is Rakesh. Deep down. Priya, he started a fire and nearly killed people. Then he got you to lie through your back teeth to cover it up. He's using you and you're letting him. If I can just get him through the next few days. Oh, what? He'll change. He doesn't care about you. He's just trying to save his own skin. And you're so far under his thumb, you can't even see it. So that's where I was this morning and on Sarah's birthday. She just left her in the middle of nowhere. She was perfectly happy watching the movie. You haven't even told us where this money came from yet. Yeah. And I doubt even a sad old wino would want to pay for a knee trembler with you. He was not sad or a wino. If you must know, he was the owner of the hand car wash I was using. Apparently, he's got a whole chain of them. Oh, the glamour. Anyway, he was admiring the car and apparently he's always had an ambition to own one of these, only it wouldn't go down too well with the tax man if they found out how much he actually earned. Excuse me, is there an abbreviated version of this? So, obviously, as I've always got an eye open for an opportunity, I offered to let him rent it, just for an hour or two each time. And he gave you three grand? On the proviso that I accompany him, keep me eye on the assets. Wow. Oh. So I'm sorry I was late. But I knew you'd appreciate me using me initiative, and I thought it was time some people realised I've got more to offer than just being the skivvy. Well, you still should have said something. Next time, I promise. Next time? Oh, no, I don't think so. 
What do you mean? Please tell me you are going to sack her. Why would I do that? It's not like there's anything you wouldn't do. Oh, well, you've changed your tune. So I can stay. Be my guest. As long as there's plenty more where this came from. But you never, ever leave Sarah on her own again, you got it? You have my word. I've just opened some biscuits if you want one. No, I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. People say it's a gift of mine. What is? Uncanny intuition. Lydia, they say. The way you read people's minds, you could have your own TV series. <laughs> well, then you'll know that I just want to be left on my own. Absolutely. Mm. And now you're thinking, why don't you just buzz off and stop bothering me? <laughs> <laughs> you're good. No can do. Because then I'd be enabling you. Enabling me? What you were doing? Going through Ashley's things. That's you displacing your grief. I went through the same thing when my Steve died. I used to keep all the trophies he won from his various competitions in this little chest. You won trophies? He was quite the contender in his day. Every night after he died, right before I put my Veruca cream on, I used to open up that little chest and go through them all. Reliving his former glories. Thankfully, I kept everything in chronological order, so that made it easier. But that's not my point. What exactly is your point? That I was only putting off the inevitable. That one day, I'd have to close the lid on that chest once and for all. Mm. And did you? Absolutely. <sighs> I shoved it with the rest of the boxes at the back of the attic. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Look. You can tell me I'm sticking my nose in. You're sticking your nose in now. <clears throat> but it's... It's at times like this we really need our friends and family. Go on. What are you doing? Extending the hand of friendship. There's no shame in admitting we need help. Lydia. Yes, Laurel? If you don't leave me alone, I'm going to take the hand of friendship and smash it in your face. I can see that you're not ready to open yourself up to help just yet, so uh, I'll leave you. Are you just going to follow me all day? No, because you're going to sit down and hear me out instead of running away like a kid. Well, I'm the kid. You're the one with the imaginary girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. Everything all right? Yeah, fine. I'm just off to the ladies and I'm probably going to be a while. <laughs> OK. Too much information. <laughs> If you want to get caught trespassing by the local drug cartel, fine, go for it. Count me out. That is what I'm trying to say. You can't get done for trespassing if you're the tenant. Possession is nine-tenths of the law, right? Oh, absolutely. And I'm sure Pablo Escobar would love to know your thoughts on the Criminal Justice Act circa 1990. I don't give a monkeys, but I'd like to keep my legs attached to the rest of my body, thank you. Oh, for once in your life, will you just grow a pet and stop being a baby? Look, if God, in his infinite wisdom, has seen fit to grow a crop of marijuana worth thousands of pounds on our farm, who are we to walk away? That is beautiful. Really, it is. Mum would be proud. I'm still gonna go. You're not even going the right way. The car's parked around the other side. Fine, carry on being broke, but don't come running to me when we get kicked out on the street. Oh, that was quick. Ross, they're coming. Who's coming? Who do you think the drug cartel? How do you know? Well, they flame me, Pugsman Pack! Look, I know I've acted like a complete moron. It's this gift I have. The minute I get anywhere near a girl, I... The truth is, I only lied to you because, well, I like you. I mean, really like you. And I've never felt this way about anyone before. I don't suppose you saw a girl in there. She's like this tall one, blonde hair. Bell, please. I'm dying out here. Get lost. Oh, hey, there's a surprise. Well, obviously, this isn't how it looks. How come someone's just complaining you tried to molest them then? What? You're just trying to talk to me. You know, I never want to talk to him ever again. Well, you heard her. Bell, please. Oi, Norman Bates. I'm sure there's some more biddies you can go and terrify in the cafe. Or would you rather just call the police?
Please tell me he didn't try and do anything weird. Charity, no. Well, he obviously tried to do something, so come on, spill. And no more wriggling out of it. Unless you'd rather explain yourself to Kane. Looking for these? Who are you? I was going to ask you the same question. You can't be in here. See, that's not quite right, is it? Because, strictly speaking, this isn't your farm. It's mine. What are you going to do? Evict you. You can't. Who says? You. Me. You must have your wires crossed, mate. The bloke who rented this place took a swallow dive off the overpass. You should watch more TV. That bloke was my dad. Now, you two clowns have got about ten seconds to collect your watering can and get out of here. Or what? You'll go to the police? Why would I call them? It's an ambulance you'll need. No worries. Sorry about your dad. Michael, what are you doing, you muppet? Tie him up! With what? I don't know. Improvise. Listen, mate. I know you're not quite all there, but even you're not that stupid. You want to watch that mouth of yours, pretty boy? Why? What do you want to do? Kiss me? Nobody move! This is a raid. Who the hell are you? Drug squad. You're all nicked. On the ground! What? I said get on the ground! That's one suspect detained, two more armed and dangerous, requesting urgent backup. Over. Do not even think about moving. Michael, you two in the van now. Did I actually just do that? You right, you did. You nearly broke my leg. Where did you learn that? Saran Jones, Scott and Bailey. So what did he do that was so bad? Did he dress up in your undies? Joking. No, he lied to me and said he was seeing another girl. What, and that's it? So, hang on, he... He didn't wrap you in cling film and try and video it? Oh, no, because he's not like that. Blimey. I mean, most blokes lie when they actually are seeing some other girl. <sighs> Maybe I did overreact a bit. No, 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 no! Don't even think about taking his side. You're lucky you got out when you did. And what does that mean? Well, sweetheart, you only have to look at him to know he's not right in the head. Just like me, you mean? No, that is different. Oh, come on, you didn't shoot your granddad with a 12 ball, did you? I'm just saying maybe it's for the best. Well, it's not. Yeah, he has made a few mistakes. <laughs> a bit of an understatement. But what about me? Because I killed my best friend and I don't remember you lot writing me off. And yeah, he might be a bit weird, but he's, he's lovely and he's nice. And the entire time that I was with Jermaine, I treated him like dirt and he's never once turned his back on me. You know what? You can just forget it. Oh, well, don't be like that. I'm just trying to look out for you. You're yeah, well done. If I need advice on who to be with, you're the last person that I'd ask. Fine. You won't be saying that when he buries you under the floorboards, will you? <sighs> you sure one of us shouldn't have stepped behind? Why? In case Priya tries another cyber attack on her bank account. Ah, oh, bank account. She said she wouldn't. Oh, please, she's like Pudsy the dog the way he's got her jumping through hoops. And for what? So he can grass her up to the police first chance he gets. Yeah, he's probably sitting there right now, singing like a canary. So, which one of you would like to order? Or does it not matter because you all lie for each other anyway? Sorry, speak. Oh, is that the best you got? You must be losing your touch. I'll have a white wine, please. You can bring it to my table. You know, on second thoughts, I'm going to go and find Priya. Oh, hey, I know of someone who can get her a new passport, if that's any help. At this rate, we'll all need one. Looks like your lucky day. My wife's here. Sadly, no. But you do have the privilege of me conducting your interview. Well, I can hardly start without representation. What happened to the lovely Anna? The useless Anna, you mean? In that case, we might have a problem. Look, my wife will be here any time with a new lawyer. If you could just give me half an hour. You know, I can't do that. We've offered you a solicitor. All I'm asking for is a bit more time. 
You can give me that, surely. I'm sorry. Either you get yourself another solicitor now, or I'll do it for you. Fine, I'll represent myself. Good choice. Word of advice, though, in case you're getting an attack of loyalty. It's pretty clear that you weren't in this alone. I don't know what you mean. I mean your family. Obviously, they've decided to do the dirty on you. Maybe you should return the favour. For the sake of the tape, can you please state your full name? Rakesh Kotecha. I come in peace. Sorry about what I said earlier. It's fine. No, it's not. No. You were just trying to help, weren't you? Everyone shows their grief in different ways. I should know. Stuffing your dead cockatoo is hardly conventional, is it? <laughs> but if there's one thing I've learned, it's that you can't hold on to the past forever. Yeah. But no offence. <laughs> We're not just talking about a dead cockatoo. Ashley was my husband. So was Steve. You married your cockatoo? No. I'm talking about Steve, my husband. Your husband? He died three years ago from a pulmonary embolism. One minute we were planning our big caravan trip. The next. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I had no idea. I'm surprised you haven't heard of him. He was quite the big cheese in these parts. <laughs> Unbeaten champion four years in a row on the northeastern circuit. For what? His caravan. <laughs> That's what all the trophies were for. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> the amount of time he spent tinkering with that thing, I sometimes wondered if he loved it more than me. So, you named your cockatoo after him when he died? I had no choice. The minute I saw Steve in the pet shop, it was like my husband was staring straight back at me. Not physically, although there were resemblances. <laughs> I mean, spiritually. Like a, a little piece of my husband's soul was inside him, blinking back at me from behind his little hooked beak. <laughs> Though I don't recall my husband ever biting anyone. <laughs> you think I'm mad? I don't. It's OK. I know what people think. Banging on about a stuffed cockatoo. But it's... It's my way of coping, you see? Like my husband never really left me. <laughs> Look at me, making a show of myself. You must have loved both of them very much. I know you think I'm uh, a nosy old busybody. Banging on about how rough and tired you look. Well, you have mentioned it once or twice. <laughs> if I promise not to say another word about it, will you go and see the doctor? Just to make sure everything's OK. For me. Fine. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> Come to check up on the accounts. Do you really think I give a damn about the money? Then why are you being like this? Because I care about you. No. If that were true, you wouldn't be making me turn my back on my own husband. <sighs> Pray, you're my little sister. I can't just sit by and watch him drag you down with him. How many more times? Rakesh isn't like that. He would do anything to protect me. Really? Or just himself? Please, Jay, I am really frightened. He won't survive prison. What if he thinks about taking his own life again? Has he threatened to do that? Well, no, but that, that's not the point. The point is, I'm his wife. I love him. Do you? I know you say the words, but do you really mean them? Yes! Why? I get what you offer him, but all he's ever done is bring you stress and misery. That is not true. You're worth more than this. And deep down, you know I'm right. You just don't want to admit it. Oh, thank God! What happened? They charged me, but I managed to get bail. I'm so sorry. What for? All of this is my fault. What exactly did you tell them? Everything. 
Well, obviously, I kept you all out of it. If I get sent down and lose you... Hey, you are not going to lose me. Whatever happens, I am always going to be here, OK? And one for yourself. You play your cards right, I might make a habit of that. Gosh, I won't hold my breath, but tell very much. Stop chucking away money we haven't got. Relax. I've got a feeling our luck has changed. There you go, officer. Why well, don't you drink on you? <laughs> your voice down, will you? Pour it down my front, my hands are shaking that much. Hey, you know what you need? Oh, no, no, no. Are you mad? Just think of it as an advance on the profits. Oh, hey, oh, you're not going to do that knee thing, are you? Oh, police brutality, oh! <laughs> you think he's going to happen with that cannabis farm? It's not. Too late. I've already found a buyer, and he said he can take as much off our hands as we want. No, absolutely not. You didn't have these scruples when you were trying to sell yourself. Uh, yeah, I did, actually. That's why I couldn't go through with it. All the more reason why we need this. Plus, I did not go to university and get a degree to become a drug dealer. So what did you get it for? Because it's been naff all you so far. Now you listen to me. No, you listen to me. I don't want this any more than you do. But you got us into this mess, now I'm getting us out. So dry your mascara and stop whining, because as of now, me and you were in the business and there was nothing you can do about it. Don't look so worried. This time, in a few weeks, we're going to be rich. Pablo. <laughs> Coming up next, Joanna Lumley's postcards as the national treasure looks back at her African adventure along the Nile from Ethiopia to Rwanda and remembers meeting baby rhinos along the way. And later tonight at 5 to 10 and throughout the night, we join Tom Bradby for ITV News' live election night coverage of the race for number 10.